Meet Joe Homeowner. Joe is enjoying a beautiful day in the city of Kawartha Lakes. And how is he spending this day? By spreading some fertilizer on his front lawn. The fertilizer that Joe is spreading contains nutrients like phosphates and nitrogen, stuff that really makes plants grow. But what's this? Clouds moving in? Uh-oh, Joe. Looks like it's gonna rain. You see, what Joe doesn't realize is that the fertilizer he's spreading on his lawn is not all going to stay there. The rain will wash the nutrients, and other chemicals, right into the storm drain. And where does all of that phosphate and nitrogen enriched water end up? That's right, Joe, in the rivers and lakes of your very own city. The same rivers and lakes where you fish, your children swim, and where you and your family get your drinking water. Now guess what happens once all of those nutrients reach the water system? Right again, Joe. They continue their job of making plants grow. Plants like blue-green algae. Unwelcome plants just love to feed on fertilizers. And so they grow and grow and spread and spread. Unfortunately, all this blue-green algae is not good for our water system. It chokes out other plants and releases toxins that can be very harmful to animals and people. Fortunately, the city of Kawartha Lakes, in conjunction with the Water Research and Innovation Network, is working on one possible solution to this problem. It's called Phytolynx, which is a man-made floating wetland that can be placed anywhere there is a problem. These floating platforms are seeded with a variety of plants that grow right in the water. The roots of these plants then provide a natural filtration system, which absorbs and treats things like phosphates, nitrogen, and even E. coli bacteria. The result is cleaner and safer water for Joe, his family, and all of the residents of the city of Kawartha Lakes. For more information about floating wetlands, visit www.rain.com.